Here at the Manchester Caravan and Motorhome Show, we're comparing three like-for-like -like models. The Bailey Pegasus GT65 Verona, the Sterling Equal Sport 554, and the Compass Corona 540. They all feature a very popular caravan floor plan indeed, at a broadly similar price, just with variations on kit levels and styling. Let's start with the Pegasus. Built by Bailey using its Alutech construction method, it was launched in February 2013 to celebrate Bailey's 65 years of manufacturing tourers. It's the narrowest of the three vans here at 2.23 metres wide. Its equipment levels are strong. This includes Michelin branded tyres, alloy wheel security locking nuts and an Alco secure portable wheel lock. Step inside and you notice that the vertical window lets in plenty of light and gives you a superb view on site. Its narrower body isn't really noticeable when you're seated in this front lounge. However, with the freestanding table setup, space is a little tighter. The midship's L-shaped kitchen accommodates the intrusion of the gas locker into the interior space, with a circular sink above the locker and a shallow cupboard, housing a cutlery tray and two shelves. The dual fuel hob has three gas rings and an electric hot plate. The rear washroom is really spacious and it has everything you need. It's got a separate shower cubicle, a domestic style door to the washroom and a swivel head cassette toilet. That shower unit has a domestic style shower head and a centre panel that incorporates sections for shampoo bottles and soap and the like. It could do with a hook or a pole across it for hanging wet gear though. Let's take a look at that bedroom. A concertina partition separates the rear bed from the rest of the caravan. The fixed bed is a decent size with a large padded headboard and a pair of directional reading lights. Next up then is the Sterling Echo Sport 554 from the Swift Group. From the outside of the van, graphite decals complement a graphite A-frame cover, front locker, wheel arches and skirts. But the van's interior is even more radical than its exterior. The furniture is finished in white and hessian with chrome details and plain tweed look fabric, which looks bang up to date. Wood effect is pretty much removed from view, so it gets a much more contemporary feel. Other important kit includes the Truma Combi dual fuel heating system, which is programmable. There's a new Eco Camel shower head, which helps save water. And the carpets are split into sections for greater flexibility. The kitchen comes with a microwave as standard and a dual fuel hob that includes an 800 watt electric hot plate. The full width end washroom is stylish and spacious with a generous basin and a separate shower, and the shower is fully lined. Now the third caravan in our trio of testers is the Compass Corona 540. The Compass Caravan brand returned to the UK market in September of 2013. It's built by Eldis and Corona is its lead in range, which makes it a little cheaper than its two rivals here. We also like the Compass branded Aula wheels, which are really quite smart. Inside the Corona, the light tone cabinet work has handles with a brushed metal effect finish. This is nicely coordinated with stainless steel effect facings for the sink, the microwave, the hob top, above the grill and oven, and to the 110 litre Dometic fridge door. The oatmeal upholstery and green detailing in the curtains and cushions is really appealing and, and those cushions offer plenty of support with chunky knee rolls for comfort. Across the galley, which measures nearly a full metre wide, allowing loads of space for the caravan cook to manoeuvre, there's a lower level dresser with an adjustable bracket for a flat screen TV. The star feature of the Corona though is that massive washroom. It's perfect for those who tend to use their van and its facilities for many nights each year. It has a domestic style entry door and it's deep with a large walk-in shower cubicle. Obviously the first choice bed is that massive fixed double, but up front, the sofas can quickly make into a second double. To sum up then, that's one of the great things about visiting a caravan show. It's important to do all your research in advance of going to a show, compare prices and specs and sizes, but there's nothing like visiting one to get a real feel for what each van is like.